It was so good to see you yesterday on the Zoom phone call. Oh, I loved it so much. It was crazy, but so much fun. Now today what we're going to do is we're going to start talking about our geometry unit. And I'm so sad because it is one of my favorite units to teach because we get to use protractors in class. And that is the first thing I'm going to do when we get back is that I'm going to do a lesson and bring out those protractors so you can use them too. Before we get to that point and talk about angles, I wanted to kind of talk to you about lines and what you're going to see in this unit. So let me just talk about these four things first and how we write them. So the first thing is a point. Now we know what a point is, right? Because we've used number lines and things like that. A point is an exact spot on a line. And so usually that's just a filled in dot that looks like that. And a lot of times they'll give it a name. So it could either be a number on a number line. Sometimes a point could also be labeled as a letter. So just for instance, this point is going to be, I'm going to call it S, just because my last name starts with an S. Now, it could be an A or a B or a C, and when you do your homework or your work later on about this, it might be labeled as an E or things like that. But it basically is just telling that exact spot or point on a line. So the next thing is what a line is. Now this is a line, and I want you to notice that there's something special about these lines. At the end, they both have arrows. That means it goes on and on and on and on. There's no end or stopping point with this line. So if you've noticed sometimes when there have been number lines, and it's just part of a number line, and let's say you have points on here and you have five, six, seven on that number line, what these arrow means is there are numbers this direction, which would be like four, three, two, one, and then negative numbers. And there's also numbers on this other side. So from seven, it continues on eight, nine, 10, but it's only showing this part of the line. So during this unit, you're probably gonna see things that are labeled as lines. And on the lines, you will notice that there might be points on the line. So let me just show you what this line looks like. This line right here has points E and F. You will know that there are going to be things before the E and after the E. It doesn't just stop at the end of this, but it's just showing you that part of it. Now, what if I wanted to write and label this line. There's two ways I can do it. The one way is I could write it as line E F, which means that this is a line and it has points E and F on it. The other the way that I can do it is I can write my points that I have on it, E and F, and then I could tell everybody that it's a line by writing the symbol for a line, which is a line with the arrows on either end. So when you do your work, you're going to see that you could either write line and the word line in E and F, or you can actually just write the points E, F, and the line symbol above it. The next one is a ray. Now, a ray is really interesting because it combines both things. It combines a point and a line together. And we're going to see this is when we start talking about angles and things like that. Now, a ray has an endpoint, and a lot of times the endpoint is going to have a letter to it. It can also have other points on it if, if you want it to. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say this is a ray, and it's... Oh, has a point here, the end point A, and I'm just going to give it another point. I'm going to say it has B. So end point and a line to it. Now, if I wanted to label that ray, there's two ways I can do it. You want to guess how? You already know. You could either do write it as a ray AB, or I can pick out my points AB and write the ray symbol on top of it. And the ray symbol on top of it is that 
line with an endpoint connected to it. So if on your answer for your work, if you wrote this, a line, a endpoint with an arrow, I would say, oh, I know that's ray AB. And the last uh, vocabulary that you need to know is a line segment. Now here's a line segment. This has endpoints to them, and our endpoints are A and B. It's not like a line that continues on and on. It's saying, I just want you to look at this line segment or this between A and B. Now, same thing. These endpoints a lot of times have letters on the points that are identified. I did AB, but it could be different things. You could see LK or Y. W on them. Now, if I wanted to write this line segment, I could say, how can I do it? You know already. I could write line segment AB, or what I could do is I could actually write the points AB and then write the symbol for a line segment above it which would be a line that has those endpoints. So this is just kind of an introduction. I'm going to use this vocabulary a lot. Point, line, ray, and line segment. So you can watch this video a couple of times if it would help you. And also on your flashcards, it has this, these um, um, definitions on them too. So I hope that helps. And... I will talk to you.